this exciting video, we will cover the following reports. Bitcoin flag formation means Bitcoin could break up to $13,000 or break down to $8,000. What does BAX Bitcoin future launch mean to Bitcoin's volume? Could Bitcoin's end to bullish trends be caused by dumped by Ponzi plus token? And Trump's currency war with China have any significant impact on Bitcoin? Hello YouTube, I'm Eugene with Blockchain360. Today is the 22nd of August 2019. If you find any of these topics of discussion interesting, please watch to the end of this video. Alright, so today is the 21st of August. I want to quickly run through the markets today, the crypto markets. Um, Bitcoin just had a crash yesterday of about 5%. So the current price now is about 10,260. Um, it's all red, so you can see that all the altcoins uh, today, it's uh, generally in the reds. Okay, let's see if Bitcoin is to recover soon. The Bitcoin dominance currently is at about 68 point, coming to 68.9. Um, so it's drawing very close to the 70% mark. Uh, while the Crypto Fear and Greed Index just crashed from the 39 down all the way to 11 so 11 is uh, pretty low I guess the markets now are extremely fearful due to, due to the crash that we had um, yesterday of course Bitcoin has gone uh, in the last one month lower than 10,000 a few times but I guess this um, crash was not really anticipated by the market so that's why the probably this is the reason why the um, fear index actually dropped below uh, 39 and currently at uh, 11 now moving on to charts um, I think most of us know that I would rather look into charts that are long term Okay, but uh, so I was just browsing through the standard charts over at TradingView. Uh, nothing so much interesting so far. I think that's like long term. Uh, a lot of uh, short term charts. Um, but I would say that that was a common trend in some of the uh, traders. A, a few of them were actually speaking about. About the flag, the flag that's been uh, formed in the past past one month. Okay, ever since July until now, past two months, we have this flag that's actually forming. This uh, flag where you put the lines from the recent high of uh, fourteen thousand all the way down. And, and if you to put the high high points so you actually have this flag that's actually forming um, this formation is shown by Vidovic and another one by this trader called for God so a similar flag as well okay as you can see here and a third one uh, shown by Monfax, a trader on TradingView. Um, for Monfax, as he places the the points, as you can see here, the flags being formed. Um, so it's a matter of when the Bitcoin price will actually break north, or it will break south to. To, to either higher level or lower level 
uh, as far as uh, Monfax is concerned, he feels that there it will be a strong sub strong resistance over at the 14,000 range whereas there is a support if it drops it will drop to a support of a range of about uh, 8,000 usually for flag formations if let's say the price was to break either up or down the amplitude of that break usually will be along the width of the back of the flag so in this case it um, it the, the break-off point to the final destination could anywhere be between around 13,000 to 8,000 that would be around a 4,000 uh, big $4,000 range so if it breaks somewhere at the peak of the flag uh, which could somewhere which could be in um, further down in September onwards um, yeah somewhere in September then there could be a break up of anywhere between two to four thousand dollars so according to Monfax if it breaks north it will be towards the resistant range of 14 around fourteen thousand dollars if it breaks down then it will land somewhere in the strong support of um, $8,000 um, that's from his point of view uh, for me I'll just have to wait and see because I'm not really a trader but I'm more of a miner um, what are your thoughts do you think it, whether this prediction of it breaking out of a flag is uh, credible and if it does will it break upwards or downwards what's your opinion and if you have any comments please post in the comment box below for our further news according to a report by coindesk backed which is the intercontinental exchanges subsidiary announced that it had acquired an approval through the new york state department of financial services nydfs where the approval allows the company to start offering Bitcoin Settle Futures contracts. The company intends to launch this on September 23rd. In a blog post, Bag CEO Kelly Leofler wrote and indicated that their Bitcoin Futures contracts have always received the green has already received the green light from CFTC through the cell certification process and user acceptance testing has begun. With this long-awaited positive announcement, it is good news to the crypto market. It is true the Bitcoin futures that institutions can now invest into Bitcoin through these products with transparency and clarity. As far as the optimism is concerned, Brian Armstrong, CEO of Coinbase, tweeted that his company is witnessing $200 to $400 million worth of investments weekly from institutional investors. Since July 14, Twitter user Dovan1 pointed out that the crypto current slump is due to Bitcoin sell-off from members of Plus Token, a Chinese Ponzi scheme. The members of this scam is believed to accrue 200,000 Bitcoin and more than 800,000 Ethereum from innocent investors all over China. Ms. Dovan1 claimed to have intercepted the conversations that the scammers are shifting their funds into exchanges in 50 to 100 Bitcoin per batch to avoid detection from the authorities. If this is true, it is entirely possible that the significant sales of Bitcoin could influence spot prices across exchanges. We personally do not think that the current Bitcoin apparent end to this small bull run could be accredited to this sole reason. In another Coinbase report, it is highlighted that the global economy has been exposed to dwindling times, creating uncertainty across rise of prices and general trade 
inefficiencies across borders. An opportunity for Bitcoin to showcase its cross-border efficiencies and more importantly, the decentralization power of not being answerable to any institutions or world authority. But before we worry about why Bitcoin is not adequately taking this chance to rise and shine, let's take a snippet look at the global economic crisis. Last week, Monday, the Chinese government saw through the process of letting the Chinese Yuan fall below RMB $7 to a dollar. This further fueled the US-China trade wars that has been going on over a period of time now. A previous highlight is the banning of the Asian giant tech company Huawei by the Trump administration. The renminbi drop reflexly made the US Treasury Department name China a currency manipulator. However, Bitcoin filling this space is going to be a little more difficult than imagined because a seamless across border capital flight without government regulations will put all eyes on Bitcoin which may further spur world governments to arrange for its ban or at least impose a restriction, which is an exact opposite of Bitcoin's decentralization mantra. What is sure, however, is that whatever the decisions on Bitcoin turns out to be, it will only remain volatile for a while and even out with time, which signifies an important time to hold. Before I go, I just want to let you know that I do conduct live seminars and online webinars regarding Bitcoin basics and the blockchain. In my seminars, I do also introduce mining co-location service provider Dunamis Global Tech, which we as miners could possibly make 100% or more annually. I have been mining with Dunamis Global Tech since its official inception. It is transparent, safe and reliable. The reason it is transparent is because Dunamis is a registered and regulated co-location company with the Arizona state government in the United States. It does not sell mining contracts as per se, but rather high capacity security mining space. Therefore, our mining machines, the co-location service and the low electrical fees of 5 cents per kilowatt hour is charged separately. With the low electrical fees of 5 cents per kilowatt hour and the affordable co-location service, it is then possible for us to gain high returns consistently. I encourage you to attend my seminars and webinars to explore this fantastic golden opportunity. The link to the seminar and the webinar schedules are shown in the description below. I hope you have enjoyed this video report. Please go ahead to punch the like button. If you have any comments or questions, please post them below. Until the next video, continue hodling and mining. Do have a fantastic week ahead. Goodbye.